Gloria Ali. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. The name is Gloria Ali. Um, today I'm going to make a, a short video to demonstrate how to safely wash your Ninja food processor or Ninja blender after using it for fufu or pounded yam. Now, some of you have reached out by commenting on my YouTube channel that some of you have actually gotten injured trying to remove or wash your your processor. Now, this is just to demonstrate. It has nothing to do with Ninja um, Company. I'm not part of Ninja Company. It is just my own way to, to, to do this video and demonstrate a safe way of washing without you being get, um, injured and um, I don't know whichever machine that you have or whichever type I have a lot of um, um, different types of the ninja um, product um, I remember one of my doctor friend was visiting Ghana years ago I told him to have a spare tie uh, to make sure to get a spare tie before coming but I have a lot of them so if you can see whichever one that you have because I want to have a, a backup so I've used different types to do it so whichever one that you are struggling with or you have I didn't use the food processor I just use the blender and then that one so as you can see make sure you have this and never dip your hands in it because when you use it for fufu and pounded yam you cannot actually see inside you cannot see you visual see the blade so please do not dip your hands inside have this one of these as I as I was saying these ones there is blade inside you can see just don't go grabbing this make sure that you use this to separate the side and side have water by you Ensure that you have water you have one of these before you even pull the blade out this is what you have to do and once again please do not just put your hands inside without seeing okay now I can even see some part of the the blade so I know if I'm holding or if I'm grabbing it I know how to grab it you see so I can see that this is the blade so if I'm grabbing I won't just so all I need to do is grab it this way grab it this way now I know I mean some of you who have been in Ghana or um, any part of West Africa and you do pound the yam and fufu you know how the work is it's a lot of work but for you to safely ensure that there's safety you need those fingers <laughs> you don't want to lose those fingers so I have this so as you can see I'm safely cleaning up this part and after that all I need to do is put it in a bowl and put water in it now I'm going to do the same way to this one here. This one, I want to scoop everything to side and side so that I can see the blade. Because I don't want to grab the tip or the top of the blade. That's not what I want to do because if I end up putting my finger on this side, guess what? It's going to cut my finger. So after doing this I can see what is inside then my finger goes under here as you can see my finger is under tight to support it then I pull so this is how I do it and safely put it in my um, local bowl or as um, people of Ghana will say Asanka then I can, all I need to do is use the same thing to scooch the side. 
somebody will ask why will you even struggle this way but back in Ghana and other part of Africa that's what we do we use we put in a mortar we don't use a blender but since I moved down here to Rochester New York I still want to be able to eat my local um, food so I found a way of making it easier and convenient for myself so this is it now I haven't even scooped whatever is in the bowl yet this is just on the blade I'm sure some of you probably don't scooch whatever is don't scoop out whatever is on the blade you just put it in water or maybe when you get cut you don't you, you forget about the rest of whatever is on the plate but this is how I do it now before any other thing else this is the purpose the purpose is to show everybody how to safely wash it get have yourself a brush because you don't want to use your hands There's a, saying, there's a saying that when you're eating with the devil, you eat with the devil with a long spoon. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that you know that this blade is very sharp. So you do not want um, to have to use your fingers or your hands in any part of it. This is all I do and it's easy. This is very easy. So you just, I wish the company had invented um, a kind of safe, um, safety thing here that you can grab here. But I guess because here is smooth, here is a little bit rough. So you can actually hold here and grab onto this whilst you are um, brushing your processor. As for this side, you can put, actually put your finger in it and pull all the stuff out of it. Because that place is smooth, there's no blade in there. So I have finished with this one. All I need to do is just soak it in there and let it stick until I'm ready to finish it up. So, so this is the second one that I was showing you. Like I said, I have a lot of their product because I always want to keep a spare time, have a backup, like I told my Nigerian doctor friend, to have a spare time. 